one from Tyler's Common. Good morning guys, uh, and the Budget Angler here. Um, I'm back at Tyler's Common, this time I've got uh, some gear with me, not just having a wreck here around. Had two little carp already out on bread. Um, they're literally boiling out of the water here. Um, every time I put in a bit of, bit of ground bait, I'll see if I can show you that. I don't, know if I don't know if you can make that out, but the fish sort of they're just sort of boiling out the water here. So uh, yeah, I, th I think we might get uh, get some footage here. So you never know, might get a decent one out. And uh, fingers crossed, we'll have a good session. Here comes the rain, and I've got my totally inappropriate um, mini Holland umbrella, which is like basically a ladies' handbag umbrella. But I've come by bike, as you can see there. I'm so mostly thrown in the bushes. Um, so yeah, please keep me reasonably dry. I should be able, should be alright. Had a few little, few little fish out. Um, just checked the guy took the money. It's only ten quid a rod here, which is cheaper than some of the council run lakes. So that's pretty good. Um, he said this lake I'm fishing in, um, which I think is Willow Lake. Um, I'll I'll put a picture up of the thing. Um, oh, I've just got to buy it. No, it's gone. Yeah. So, um, but no, it's it's shaping up to be quite a nice little morning out actually. So fingers crossed I can get you know get seeing a bit more specimen as this is a. Uh, Here you go guys, it's a little uh, little dace I think there, it's uh, cool, I put on I had some dead maggots that were frozen in the ground bait, so let's have a little bash on there, that was quite a big hook for him though, size 12. Now guys, another little lovely common. There you go guys, probably the smallest carp in here. There's a better one there for you. Splashing the camera, I didn't manage to get Film me landing him, I was fiddling him out with the camera, but that's gonna that's the best of the day, not bad at all. There you go guys, that was a little uh, little mirror out of the margins on a bit of luncheon meat, so yeah, lovely.
guys. Little ropes there, bit of variety. Hopefully you got that on camera guys, nice bit of floating crust action there. He's having a good go of it. Beauty, not very chunky but very long. Just talk you through some of the bait I'm using, guys. Um, they're just standard luncheon meat. This one's actually from the pound shop, chopped pork and ham, cubed, baiting needle, put it through on the hook, and uh, use a little bit of grass or a bait stop to stop it coming off. Good old white sliced. Obviously, other brands are available. Um, that's what most of the fish have been out on today. And for just keeping the swim baited up with uh, this is a right old mishmash of old old maggot, sweet corn, old bread that I save and then put through a food presser, processor. It's actually um, a bit of um, Jamaican bun that uh, I never finished from Easter, Jamaican Easter bun that I blended up and put in here. Um, so it's got quite a spicy smell. Some old sweet corn, some old maggots, which I've actually been putting on the hook and had a few of those tiny little carp out on those. So um, yeah, I've got bags of this stuff in the freezer. I wish I brought a bit more with me. Oh, the net blown away. Oh, that's a little rud there, guys. It was a very pale one for a rud, but he's, uh, yeah, nice. Not a bad one there guys, just uh, on a little bit of bread in the margins, I think I'm going to call it a day now. Um, nice little mirror, that's um, yeah, probably one of the best carp I've had in uh, many a year, so yeah, lovely. This is a better standard. I've just set the camera up for the last little while. Um, just to, I've had, this is probably, I'd say this is probably about the third biggest fish I've had um, today. Uh, but I didn't manage to catch, I don't know, well, you'll, you'll see what I've got on camera um, by the time you see this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to call it a night soon. I think the place closes about seven. And it's now must be uh, nearly six. So, um, yeah, but it's been a. Well guys, apologies for the uh, bumpy picture, um, that was Tyler's Common, uh, it's about 10 past 7, I was supposed to be leaving about 6 but got carried away, there was just just too much fun really, kept just picking off a um, carp with a bit of floating crust and once you start, you know, it couldn't stop, they were just sort of every, every cast you know, so um, yeah it was really, really fun, I think for a tech, for tech, guys well bumpy, so I'm um, type one so um, yeah I mean it's worth 10 pound of anyone's money to be honest um, for a bit of sport 
makes a good change from fishing the canals um, where I live. Bit of a schlep out, so I've got about a, about a mile ride, I suppose, down to Harold Hill, then jump on the train with all my gear to Stratford and then ride back towards Plasto from there. No, no. Um, yeah. Right, sorry about that guys, I totally ran out of memory. Um, I don't know much, there's not much left on this uh, card on my phone. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, I'll put a link to the fishery up there. Um, hopefully a lot of that's come out. I don't know what I found, I was on the GoPro and it's been playing up as well. So anyway, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that as much as I have. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys, Cheers, Sean.